Uh, well, my name is Gary Garth. You're from DT Energy, and the question about what do I really do is uh, it's a great one. All my kids, I have five kids, and every one of them in high school I can never explain it to their friends, and they've all concluded I must be a gangster. Uh, but I am an IT manager working in distribution operations in the operational technology group, and really my focus is on developing applied analytics in the uh, electric in electric energy industry. Connectivity is kind of a loaded term in my industry. You might mean something different from it, but literally in, in the electric business, connectivity is pretty important. And the, that means in that industry is the connection from the customer meter all the way back to the generation point for electricity. And in that particular case, most companies aren't able to actually infer the connectivity of a meter to the transformer um, it can't be maintained. There's two and a half million of those. And so we do that actually through analytics by taking voltage data and inferring what transformer they're connected to. So that's sort of a business-centric answer to it. Um, more from uh, the way we operate or come to work, uh, con connectivity or connection is pretty important where we're taking data um, or interests from various departmental areas that have been traditionally kind of isolated and focused only on their own stack, if you will. And uh, we're bringing together common views across those stacks and allowing people to understand that they can really leverage what they know in their own areas and help out with, with other areas. So in that sense, connectivity is pretty important from an operational sense as well. We are a 100 plus year old company and we have a lot of equipment that has been in the field operating for 50 plus years. So anything that's been operating for 50 plus years is generally not a digital kind of piece of equipment. So a first step is actually modernizing the equipment that is in the field. That can actually be a challenge for an operating electric company because generally the way they run the business is they're going to sweat the asset or you're not going to replace something that is operating well until they see the value of that kind of digital connection. In my view, um, a way to move down that trail is understanding that we have a lot of interest in sensors, if you will, on our distribution circuits. Those are expensive, can be expensive pieces of equipment, and to deploy those across a large geographic area can be very expensive. So digitally what we're able to do is take a limited deployment of sensors and essentially create virtual sensors for other parts of the distribution circuit that don't have actual devices on them. And what I mean by that is you take readings from actual devices and then you can map or, or match to similar kinds of circuit configurations and you can then infer a sensor reading when you don't actually have a physical sensor. And so one step forward for us is to leverage the notion of virtual sensors.